Well, Dave Ramsey and his sidekick, Johnny D. Johnny D. Giving advice to a woman who calls in, says that she can't get her boyfriend to marry her. Been together seven years, can't get the old boyfriend to marry her. Let's go to it. Let's hear what Dave Ramsey and Johnny D have to give her. And just as a spoiler alert, this is some of the stupidest advice I've ever heard in my life. All right, let's go to it, though. So I have a question. I've been with my partner, boyfriend, for seven years, and we have two small children together. And I recently brought up the fact that we should get married and actually have one bank account and do everything together. And he says that he doesn't want to do that. But well, I can't imagine why I brought up to baby's daddy. We got two kids together, and I think we should have one bank account and get. Now she's going to go into this that. She's a stay-at-home mom. She doesn't work. She stays home with the kids. Stay-at-home baby's mama. And I, I can't imagine why this guy just wouldn't want to just combine bank accounts and say, sure, let's roll the dice here. All right, let's 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 listen in. What's Dave got to say? Why? Why? He doesn't want to do marriage. Why? And he says because he's already been married and he's just not, he's just not going to do it. Why does he think he's not married now? Good question. So good question. If they've been together seven years and she's calling from texas i think in texas about seven years is common law marriage anyway so yeah he he might be married and not even know it but what why wouldn't he just want to jump into marriage after he's been previously divorced hmm i wonder i wonder why you wouldn't want to just jump into marriage if you've been previously divorced i don't know maybe because you had to divide half your assets with the person you were married to. Maybe you had to pay alimony to them for a few years. You know, that could be why. Hmm, Dave, I wonder, I wonder why you just wouldn't want to jump into marriage again. Let's let's listen in though. What's Dave had to say? I'm not sure. He's got I'm, all of it. He's got everything out there with marriage right now. Yeah, that's a good point, Dave. He's got everything having to do with marriage right now. So why would you sign the contract? in which you lose half your stuff, have to pay alimony, and probably a lot of child support. Now, he if they broke up, he'd have to pay child support anyway, because if, if he has two kids with baby's mama here. Anyway, let's listen in a little more. He gets sick. He gets sick. He wants you to make him chicken soup, right? Yeah. yeah. What, what's the difference in this and marriage? I'm confused. Well, well here's he says that he says that he's not interested, that either accept him or what should we do? Yeah, either accept him for who he is or head out the door, I guess, right? Now, that's usually what we hear on the flip side. Women, I'm a woman. You must accept, I'm perfect the way I am. You must accept me for who I am, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's go on. Smith, I want you to hear what he's actually telling. He's telling you he went all in on somebody once and got hurt or broke up with or whatever. Now, it may have been way more than that. All right, Johnny D, here we go. And he's looking at you after seven years and two children and saying, you're not worth that. I'd rather um, have my illusion of singleness in my back pocket at all times so that I can preserve my little fragile ego. Meanwhile, play house. And play house with you. And you be my wife, and I'll keep all the equity and everything, and I'll keep all my money, and I'll basically pay you like a live-in nanny um but this is all mine i hate yeah so if if he's the one paying on the bills and she is a stay-at-home mom i'm not seeing how marriage well really marriage wouldn't change with no fault divorce marriage wouldn't change that situation anyway either one of them could leave at any time he would just have to divide half of the assets with her if he would sign a contract. Now, what what would be the advantage for him in that situation then? With the, I, this guy sounds like he might be fairly smart in the way he's structured things. Let's go on, though. I hate that for you. I'm sorry. I hate that for you. I hate that for you, that that you aren't, aren't able to uh, have a contract saying that if this relationship doesn't work out, that you can take half and more of it. I I hate that for you. Okay.
How old are your babies? Um, one is four, and the other is one. <sighs> little boy, little girl, what? Um, it's a one-year-old boy and a four-year-old girl. So at this point, I'm at the point that I don't know what to do. I don't know if I. Twenty years from now, your daughter is twenty-four, and she asks you this question. What do you tell her? I don't know. So now notice the white knighting here. Notice the uh, just is the ex, the extreme white knighting. What do you tell her? Here's what I would tell her. Hey, if you want to get married to a man that you've had two children now with, don't have children before you get married. Then maybe wait to move in together, wait to live together, wait to have children until you actually get married. And they're, oh, I'm so disgusted at this man. Where's the accountability? See, the modern woman, she wants all the responsibility, all the responsibility. I want combined bank accounts. I want this and that, but no accountability. No accountability for her actions at all. Oh, this horrible man did this to you, didn't he? No, it takes two people to do that. You are accountable. You are the baby's mama. What I will tell you is I think you are worth going all in on. Hey, I think you are worth going all in on. Johnny B doesn't know a single thing about baby mama here other than she's got two kids and she feels bad and she's cried a little bit because she doesn't know what to do. Doesn't know a single thing, but he knows. He knows you are worth going all in on. Oh, yeah? Really? Really? You know that. Okay. All right. Here we go. And I think you're worth having a home that two people want to do life together. And she has that right now. She has that right. She has a home where two people are doing it. She's a stay-at-home mom with her kids that he provides for. Just, I guess she wants a combined bank account and well, I, whatever. I don't know. Like, yeah, marriage, the marriage license would not change that situation at all. And it certainly wouldn't change the fact that they would stay together. You could end that anytime you want. You can end a marriage. Like, what century are these guys living in? All right. Create a safe space to raise these two beautiful little babies. You're worth that. Well, as long as he's not beating her or abusing her, she has a safe space to raise their children in of which he pays the bills gives supplies the home for like I, i'm not seeing what a marriage license would do for that but you're gonna have to make the grown-up decision on whether you stay and you try to build a life inside of a cocoon um or you make other decisions um, I'm mostly more afraid of, like, if I walk away, how would I manage with money? I haven't worked in a while. So that's, I'm going to be truthful. That's exactly what's stopping me now from walking away. And that's a very real. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to be truthful now. I've got two kids with this man, and I don't know what I do for money because I haven't worked in a while. Huh. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Well, first off, if you walked away, you could get child support. So you're basically saying you don't really care about the man. You you just like want, want money. I just want some money. Like I can get child support to pay for the children. But uh, what about me? I, I don't really want to work. I think I'd want to just stay home. Like, <laughs> what? No accountability. There isn't one single question for this woman of like, hmm. Well, well, wait a minute now. What What do you mean? You You just want to do like, again, women want all responsibility, no accountability. Eric. Well, fear. I mean, that's a very real fear. The The data suggests that when men and women split up, especially in this situation, his net worth will actually go up and yours will go down for a season. Yeah, probably because you aren't spending his money anymore. That, that one might be why. And then when you have to go out and actually work, uh, you're probably not going to work a job and work as hard as he does. Well, <laughs> like, hello, again, no accountability. They want all the responsibility. Here we go. Until you get so pissed off that you become a multimillionaire later. But yeah, um, but yeah, the, uh, yeah, there's Dave. 
until you get so mad that you become a multimillionaire. Yeah. As a single mom of two kids, now you've ejected the father from the home and you've took them from him and moved somewhere else. And you're going to become, you're going to get so mad. You're going to become a multi-millionaire. Like what? I think Dave's a pretty practical person. Like what planet, Dave, are you living on? You touch some average single mommy calls in. Yeah, you're going to get so mad that you're going to become a multimillionaire. Who was listening to this advice? Who was listening to this? All right, let's go on. So, in other words, you can't do this today. It's theory because you got babies you have to feed. But you can say, all right, I'm going to plan my escape. And I'm going to get my career tooled up and I'm going to go get a job and I'm going to start making some serious money. And then I get to make decisions from strength rather than from weakness. Rah, rah. Here's the feminist narrative coming out. You are going to be strong independent of this man get out from under this man which you've had two children out of wedlock with but you're not accountable for that that's his fault and how dare he not want to marry you and then share all these i don't i don't know share bank account share all the assets blah blah like they were talking you don't get any equity in the house that he's paying for that that you get the privilege of living in and raising your children in. Uh, uh, you should be building equity in that too, though, because you maybe clean it. Uh, may, maybe you clean it. I don't know. <sighs> and then you can walk in and go, uh, I'm not sure, dude, that I want to marry you. So there's that. And that's what we call an Elizabeth Byrne, right? When you flip the whole thing around. <laughs> No, 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 no. Then you get to flip the script on the father of your children and say, I want to get married, but not to you. And I'm walking out of here, baby. Uh, even though you'll always be the father of my children. Can you, can you explain the foolishness of this stupid advice? <laughs> Stupid advice. What are you talking about? He will always be the father of your children. Whether or not you get married or you don't get married, you don't want to be accountable for having children out of wedlock. And so Dave and bumbling idiot number two over here said, wow, you need to, uh, you need to just get a job, get your money on point, and then you can come in and say, listen, here, here's the deal. We're going to get married, or if not, I'm going to find somebody better to get married to as you're a 50-year-old single mom. Okay, let's go on. You might make the decision under strength to stay, but you would need to make it from strength rather than from weakness. Is that logical? Yes. So if it takes you a year to start making $40,000 a year, then take that year and go do it. That's fine. I got no plan. I got no problem. And you're he, he, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. And they, you're in Dallas, man. There will be people that will hire you. In about 20 seconds. He he ain't going nowhere. Hmm. Well, he may. But the strong reason he may stay is because these are his children. And a marriage license doesn't do anything for him as far as guaranteeing him anything in regard to you or him, thanks to no-fault divorce. So I, I like maybe he's not going anywhere, but it, it might it's probably not because of her awesome attitude and the idiotic advice that you're giving to her, Dave. Hey, Elizabeth, it's not uncommon in this situation, especially after this long, that this isn't the only thing that this person won't, quote unquote, do. This person's been telling you that your things you think are funny or stupid and the feelings or concerns you have about any number of things are dumb. You can't fill in the blank. And after seven years, after almost a decade of this, you've come to believe that stuff to be true, right? That kind of sounds like they're gaslighting the guy that's not even there uh, in, in the call there. Anyway. I don't have my notes. Yeah. I don't. I don't either. Because the girl that called here has got more stuff inside of her than she sounds like she does or thinks she does. Again, 
Dave says, you got more stuff in you that like you you know nothing about this. For all they know, she might be a crack addict. No, no. Oh, this girl, you got more stuff in you than anybody. Oh, yeah, you go, girl. You are strong. You are independent. You don't need no man. You get your money on point, And then you come from a position of strength and say, listen here, buddy. I'm going to get married. And it may not even be you. Oh, by the way, I got your babies, though. Now go get it. Go get it, girl. Get you some. Thank you. Yeah, really. I mean, don't forget two old guys believe in you. Yeah, and and uh, and you got a four year old daughter watching, saying, "Mama is a warrior princess. Look out, here comes Cena." <laughs> you remember that one? <laughs> yeah, but don't make that little weird noise call thing. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that one yourself, but don't just let like that only be. Oh, uh, can, can can you hardly stand the foolishness? Yeah, you got a little girl. You got to show that little girl you are strong and pe- you are Xena, warrior princess. Bro, what feminist nonsense that they are spewing here? Like, oh, uh, I can't even hardly stand it. I can't hardly stand it. Like what? Oh, you warrior princess, you're going to get out there and you're going to own the world. You're going to be a millionaire if you get mad enough, even. What? What idiotic nonsense. What idiotic nonsense. Now, let me opine here a little bit on on this one. This one would call me and say, hey, what do I do? What do I do? Well, listen, marriage, if you are a virtuous woman, and you need to be married to signal to other women that I'm a virtuous woman, uh, then don't have two children out of wedlock then with the man. Like, if you are a virtuous woman, I think that ship has kind of sailed for signaling to everybody in your community that I'm a virtuous woman because I get married. Uh, you, you've been with the guy, she said, for seven years. You've had two children with them. They're one and four. And you want to be married uh i mean i could understand you want to be married but i mean really what what does that get him like what's in it for him if he marries you really and he signs the marriage license uh it's all downside for him and not really not really any upside he's paying for you to live in the house with him and like dave says play house i mean that sounds like a pretty good deal you don't have to go to work you get to raise your two kids. Not many women get to do that. He pays all the bills. He has a house. And I know you're not building equity in it because you don't have the marriage license saying that I get half the assets and more if I'm not working. Um, you don't get that. But sounds like you're doing pretty good. Two kids, you know. I mean, maybe if, uh, if you were nice if you were nice to him, maybe he would marry him sometime. Maybe, maybe just say I don't have to mar- have a marriage license. I'm sure that's probably what he's afraid of is getting taken to the cleaners. Maybe you have a covenantal marriage where you covenant before God and your friends and your family that we're going to stay together. We're going to make this work. We're going to be married, right? You don't have to have a marriage license there for that. But it sounds like you're doing pretty good. If he's paying for you to stay home, he says he doesn't want the kids in daycare. Doesn't sound like you have strong career aspirations if you haven't worked in a long time. I know Dave is telling you, yes, you must get into the workplace and be Xenia Warrior Princess. What idiot device? What idiot? Wouldn't you like to slap Dave? Oh, I know a little Johnny D there. He likes to do MMA, but I'd like to, I'd get in the ring with him. You know, what an idiot. Anyway, we got to get this nonsense advice corrected. And and first off, people, you need to get married before before you start having kids. Like that that is the stable home environment. Hundred percent agree. Getting a marriage license doesn't make that home environment stable, though. We all know that there's no fault divorce. Like doesn't make it stable just to have a marriage license. Like if you think so, you're an idiot. We see that everywhere. Like come on, we got to get that corrected, though. Anyway, we got to say it though again. Christ is winning. He's building his church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Until next time, this is the Post Millennial Man.